This brief video will discuss marine ick and suitable treatment options. Let me first explain the life cycle of marine ick. The white dots you see on a fish are caused by trophons attached to and feeding on the fish. It is important to note that the white dots are not actually the parasites themselves, but rather excess mucus, which is the fish's immune response to attached trophons. In fact, all life stages of marine ick are invisible to the naked eye and can only be seen under a microscope. After three to seven days of feeding on the fish, trophons drop off and look for a hard surface to insist upon. This can be the substrate, rock, glass, aquarium equipment, or shells, literally any hard surface that the parasites can manage to stick to. Once they find a hard surface, insistment begins and the parasite is now called a tomote, which is essentially the egg stage of the life cycle. The cyst which envelops the tomote protects it from chemical treatments such as copper and hyposalinity. In fact, in one study, it took 60 parts per million chlorine 24 hours to completely eliminate all tomotes in an aquarium. Over a period of 28 days, or sometimes longer, tomotes will release free swimmers called therons into the water column. This is the infective stage which seeks out fish to attach and feed upon, thus restarting the life cycle. This free swimming stage is your only opportunity to kill the parasites via chemical treatments such as copper and hyposalinity. Because once a free swimmer finds a fish to latch onto and becomes a trophon, the parasite is better protected. Please note that the life cycle information discussed here only applies when water temperature is between 78 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Recent studies have demonstrated that cooler water slows down the parasite's life cycle, whereas warmer water speeds it up. Here are a couple of photos of fish with marine ick. The white dots are oval shaped and can usually be counted. These remain on a fish for three to seven days before the trophons which cause them drop off to continue their life cycle. Any white dots which remain on a fish for longer than seven days are most likely viral or bacterial growths. White dots that disappear in less than three days could mean marine velvet disease, a more deadly parasite. Also keep in mind that if free swimmers invade the gills and trophons form only there, you will not see any white dots on the fish. In this scenario, you must rely upon behavioral symptoms of ick to know something is amiss. These behavioral symptoms include scratching, heavy breathing, appetite suppression, lethargy, and reclusiveness. If you have a microscope, you can take skin scrapes or gill clippings of the affected areas to confirm a diagnosis of marine ick. There are four proven treatment options for eliminating marine ick. Each of these are best utilized in a quarantine tank and the display tank itself should be left fallow or fishless for at least six weeks at 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Copper, chloroquine, or hyposalinity must be maintained at a therapeutic level for at least 30 days if using just one quarantine tank. However, two weeks will suffice if you can move the fish to a separate observation tank at least 10 feet away. Tank transfer method works by literally outrunning the parasite's known life cycle. However, since the fish must be transferred into a new aquarium every 72 hours at least four times, some find the time and effort expended to be arduous. Thank you for watching this video. See links in the comments section for more detailed information and join us on my forum for all reef aquarium related discussion.